So in case you live under a little rock and somehow I can get done with Toy Tower Defense news, my boy Talantric, you know, the creator of TTD, has been consistently making videos. And most importantly, he's been updating the game every single week. As you can see, the clans update comes out tomorrow. With that being said, it's my job, it's my responsibility as a handsome skeleton of this army to watch the new clans update leaks video and tell you everything you need to know. Face cam on now! I said you're in the face! Who's Mary Shelley? I don't care! I'm feeling quite dapper. Today, I'm gonna be showing some leaks of the next update in Toilet Tower Defense. The yeah, you are, Talantrix. Yeah, you are. Talk to me, baby. What you got? Obviously, before going into it, certain things, certain ground rules that we want to have hit. We obviously know, like, the clan's update's coming out. It says it right there. Comes out at noon CST tomorrow. I want to know if I'm going to be able to start a clan public and then make it private or the other way around. Okay, um... I'm just gonna watch the video. So 77 part two update, and you may be wondering how- I am wondering a lot of things. Oh, the new episode hasn't come out yet. Well, at least at the time of recording this video, it hasn't come out yet. But the skibbity toilet man himself told me that I can do a video on leaks already. So these guys are going- Wait, what? So you're telling me, Mr. Dafuki gives Solantrix or tells him when he's allowed to do leaks? Cause wait, has the new episode of Skibbity Toilet even came out yet? Episode 77 part 2? Hold on. Whoa! Okay, so the new episode isn't even out yet. There's only been leaks of the episode 77 part 2. See, I don't watch Skibbity Toilet that much. Or at all, I still need to watch it on live stream. That's actually really, really cool. So not only does that mean that we're gonna get access to these exclusive units before the Skibbityverse even sees it, but on top of that, that means Solantrix and Dufuk are actually on good terms. This could be really good for Toilet Tower Defense going to be in the new episode so make sure to like and subscribe blah 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 into the oh wait you should actually like and subscribe on my channel because we're trying to get to a hundred thousand subscribers before this channel turns a year old we have like 19 ish days Please. also watch it all the way through because at a random point in the video i give a hashtag away and give a free sign unit out donald's bathroom and then i went into like a bathroom stall and i swear i saw what is he talking about Oh, the dual blade toilet. Um, okay. Talantrix, teapot buddy. What the skibbity was that? I had to like summon some cameraman to fight him. You know? Oh my, okay, come on. Cringe levels are over 9,000. Oh, it was pretty Sigma, but anyway. Okay, I, you gained my respect. Hey, it, it takes a, a certain type of person to be that cringe in this world. I respect you. Now, I'm gonna show you guys some of the leaks. And some of them, I think, are pretty cool, so... Please show me, I'm waiting. So this is gonna be the clans update. I'll tell you guys more about that after I show a couple leaks, though. So here you go. Alright, first off... Whoa, what the flippuccino burrito? We got the orbital camera. Alright, tell me what it does before I can freak out. This is the orbital camera. So this is kinda a camera that just spins around in orbit. How are... Okay. <laughs> Free Sox went got it. So like it spins like a top. Okay, let me hey, let me break this down. Y'all ever heard of a gyroscope? This unit is essentially just gonna be a gyroscope. Let me find a gif. This unit's probably gonna look something along these lines. You guys seeing this? It's gonna look like that. Right right there. I don't know. I'm just a skeleton. I'm just taking the gas. We're gonna make this work. He's just gonna go around the edge of the range. And it just has a laser in the middle. It's Okay, so he's a movable unit. So he's a Beyblade. So we literally have a Beyblade. I'm so excited. I just summoned my brand new Orbio cameraman. Beyblade, Beyblade, let it rip! I'm sorry, I don't know why I did that. It just, it felt funny. It's a pretty simple unit. This is going to probably be an epic in the normal summon, not anything too crazy. The oh, so it sucks. God. Uh, moving on, we have the cameraman car. So Wait, I have to rate that. The last unit, I actually really liked it. I think it's an A tier. So this is going to be a car you can place down. It's going to be a car. Thank you for... Uh, Thank you for clarifying that that is a car. But it's gonna be more like the laser cameraman car where it's oh, That's fine just on not on the track like it doesn't actually go on the track like the stuff engineer cameraman spawns And it's more of just like a tower you place it and it can shoot at toilets. Yeah, it, it makes sense It's just a normal unit that's a car and it's gonna be able to move because it's a car But the question is 
Is there gonna be a little like scientist cameraman that pops out the top and he says hello and he like shoots people and stuff? I mean that would be I don't know that'd be pretty sickums. I don't know it'd be pretty cool if it was like controlled by something, you know? I mean think about the scientist. You know what? Let me show you. So take a nice long look at this car for a second again. So imagine if you level them up, there's someone controlling the top like a turret. Because for example, with like the scientist TV man and that of the scientist clock man as well, whenever you upgrade their fortresses, as you can see, there's a man. A camera guy manning the gun and as you level them up there's more and more and more and more and they get more powerful eventually having a literal gazooka slime blast. and as you watch the clock barrier it's a very similar thing except they get clock soldiers like the chief clock man so on and so forth so the clocks might be synonymous to the chief or this the side these clocks might be oh my god hopeless shut up the scientist no oh my I, I never mind. It was a thought. I'm a failure, okay? Or also, I, I just put the cameraman on it. Oh, so I'm a genius. Basically, I'm a genius. I'm a. Oh, musical orb. Tell me what the skibbity gods have in store for me. Oh, you're telling me next up there's gonna be a crate? And I'm gonna summon the rarest unit in my first three? Well, that's nothing new. I could have already guessed that. Subscribe for hopeless luck. But for the hashtag on this video, if you wanna get a signed unit, it's gonna be hashtag. Hopeless luck is real because hashtag hopeless luck is so real. It actually is insane how lucky I am. Right now, but yeah, the cameraman drives this car and it's gonna be a pretty simple laser attacking unit. The yeah, it makes sense. I, that's what I wanted. Next that's, one. That, that's an A as well. One is the upgraded camera woman. So she Wait, who said that? Can we point this out? Why does she look kind of snatched? Like... Why does she have a, a, a figure? Is that- Can we confirm? Is this the only unit that has a figure? Maybe I'm just being a yapper. I think- Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna investigate. I'm, I'm gonna investigate. I just realized something. Why do I care? So as you can see, the camera woman is not snatched. The mace camera woman is also not snatched. Did I just waste your time? Maybe. She's gonna have four lasers. I'm not tripping. That is- Okay and two cool spike things that she stabs toilets with. Spike things, Tlantrix, they're spike plungers. Come on, we've been through this. She also has a jetpack, so she's gonna be able to fly. And that is gonna increase her range a lot whenever you level her up and she gets the jetpack. And also that car is gonna be a- So she's like, is she a godly mace woman then? Kind of? Is that what that is? Legendary, this is gonna be a mythic because- we so wait, how is this much different than the mace camera woman like at all? It doesn't seem like she is. I already have a legendary camera woman in the game, so this is just the next step up from the last one. And then... I just realized, those lights going into her look like they just took two forks and went into her shoulder blades. <laughs> Oof. Sniper cameraman, so he's... This guy's sick. This guy's sick. Cameraman, but instead of the normal... Last woman, last woman. Last unit with a B. Laser gun, he has a sniper laser gun. As you can see, it has a scope on it. So let guess, really low uh, attack cooldown speed, but like really high attack with the obviously really far range. He's probably gonna be a legendary, right? And he's gonna have a lot of a range, but attack kind of slow because he- Oh, who would have ever guessed? Oh, I'm a genius. Oh, hopeless, how do you know that? Oh, because I have two brain cells. That's it, not more. As a sniper. I'm gonna save a couple for later, but- Whoa. Is this guy gonna be another movable unit? He's holding a red sword. He might be holding a lightsaber. Star Wars and TTD question mark? But the next I'm gonna show is the Saber Mutant toilet. Saber Mutant. It is a <laughs> it is a saber. I didn't even know that. I was just waffling. What's crazy is when I look up Saber Mutant toilet, they don't really even have anything. I mean, this is the closest thing they have, but I don't think this is what he's going for. You see, there's no way. This is awesome. <laughs> So it's a mutant toilet. This one was actually in the previous episode. He's kind of in the background though. So I just figured we'd add him now. This one was part of episode 77, part one. But as you can see, he has an arm with a laser on it. Cool. And then he has an arm with a glowing red saber. That's so sick. It actually is a saber. Okay, the question is, do I think it's that sick or I think it's cool because I, 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 I guessed it correctly. Let's be sure. real. So, he's going to be a pretty cool sword unit. Probably exclusive. I'm going to keep some of the- Boom! It's fine. One exclusive unit's never the end of the world. Other guy's a secret, but there's going to be a godly in the summon that- Okay, so I need to get coins. Great. I, I'm screwed. 
or adding in this update. So it's not gonna be only upgraded Titan Cinema Man anymore. We're f bum, bum, no way. That's actually kind of huge. We've had the ability to only summon one godly since November of 2023. It has been 10 calendar months since they have added another summonable godly unit. How many UTTVs currently exist in the game? Is it at a million yet? I can't check because I'm in a partner server, but ooh, it better be good. It has to be. Like, at this point in time, it has to be better than a UTTV, right? Like, you guys agree? Like, you can't place another godly that's summonable that's worse than a UTTV? That would just be an insult. You can't. Finally going to have a second godly. It's literally been so long. Like, we added godlies to the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just said that. Added, like, the Titan Present Man and Mech Bunny Titan. But, like, both of those are event ones. And then we added some clock ones in the clock event. Yep, and yep, all yep. the ones after that have been event ones. Except for the boss toilet. The boss toilet is also in the normal summon. But, like, in the advanced toilet. I just realized you can scroll down on the crates and summon normally. Look great. Well, I mean, this is technically adding another godly to the summon, but it's not the, like, completely normal summon, so we're finally adding another one to that. I will give you guys a hint. It is a speaker man, but that is all I'm gonna say. Oh, it is a speaker man. Do you guys hear that? It's gonna be the Golden Titan speaker man. Do you guys think it's gonna be the Golden Titan speaker man? I think he hinted at it. Do we remember... Okay, hold on. Is the wiki still down? Yeah, the wiki's still down for me. This is stupid. I wanted to find out what rarity the Golden Titan Speaker Man was. Because if it's a godly, we can bet our top dollar on the fact that, guess what? They're adding the Golden Titan Speaker Man to the summoning chamber. Guaranteed. Say, so now for more information about clans. Like I said, we don't- I need to know Talantrix. Can I start it from invite only to making it private? That is what I need to know. I don't want it to be super easy to make clans because if we made it like coins or something there I've seen like a ton of bots that like afk farm bots that just farm a ton of coins and literally have got hundreds of thousands of coins So they'd be able to snipe literally like hundreds I need to talk to these guys I'm, I'm trolling, am I? Hundreds of names, and if someone made a big enough bot farm, they'd be able to literally, like, take all available clan names or something. So, I don't want that to happen. So, I also had a vote. I would say W Development from T, from Teapot there. I do actually like how considered he was there. In the Discord server, between if it should be a clan creator game pass, which would be the best way. Okay, so you have to pay for it. God, yeah. To make sure that not too many people make clans, because again, we want people to join clans, not just make them. If we made it super cheap, all the clan names would get taken. That's honestly fair to say, I, I will admit. But then that would mean there wouldn't be a free-to-play option to create clans. You'd still be able to join clans for free, but the clan creator thing would just be a game pass. Then the other option was to make it cost a lot of gems to make clans. So we're probably gonna have both of those options. Okay, you know what? I like it. Um, I think his justification, though, for the coin farms is a little silly. Uh, I think making a claim with coins is perfectly fine. I think it's valid. However, the part that I'm okay with is that he said he wants people to join clans. And obviously, I want people to join clans that aren't just based on YouTubers. So if that justification alone for it being gems and or a game pass makes perfect sense to this skeleton i'm not mad at it so either game pass or gems but uh, if you want to make a clan free to play then you can why is the music like intense it's gonna cost a lot of gems though because like every time i go to a trading plaza there are at least a few people that have like 100k 200k sometimes even more gems how can you guys uh can you guys give me some <clears throat> And again, the limit for clans right now is going to be 100, and it might be 200 in the future, so we don't want all the good clan names to be taken and stuff, so... Yeah, like, if we go to this server, 1.5 million over... Jesus! Uh. 100k. So it's not hard to find someone that has at least a few hundred thousand gems. So again, I'm just saying, kidding. it is going to be expensive to... Why this music... Okay, Clantrix, your editor cooked you here. This music's intense for no reason make a clan also we're gonna buff how many gems you get for being on the endless leader 
I've thought this for a very long time. I've thought this for an extremely long time. I've thought that those gyms were way too low. Because we did change it recently where we started to just ban, or not ban, but just clear people's alt accounts from the Endless Mode leaderboard so that everyone pretty much has like a fair chance of getting on it. And like if you come up with a good strategy, you just can't get like 10 or 20 accounts on it to get a ton of upgraded Titan Drillmen because they go for at least like 340-ish K right now. So Oh my gosh, why is there so much gymflation still? Like, if clans cost 100k gems, then everyone top 100 would be able to make three clans. Like, if they gave gems to their alts and stuff. 100k to make a cl I'd be cooked. Stuff, so it's not that bad. But, like, the rewards for being on the top 100 aren't really too great right now. Like, only 10,000, 5,000, 3,000. So probably yeah, it doesn't scale. Like, from what he just said, it really doesn't scale. We're gonna make number one like 50k and then 25k 15k 10k 7.5k and then just like down okay i'm gonna watch the rest of this video and let you guys know if there's anything important okay that was pretty big news listen to this like what rank everyone is to see not how this. soon we should not, work not, on not adding this. the next five endless ranks there's also this 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 is some big news gonna be a new free-to-play crate that you can only get by winning ohio mode i love it i love that so much i wish that it already existed is it going to be the Ohio crate, though? If it's just the Ohio crate, I'm going to be a little bit upset. So, you're not going to be able to buy it for Robux in the shop. You're not going to be able to buy it anywhere else. It is only going to be obtainable from beating Ohio mode. Because, again, a lot of people want more free-to-play stuff. So, this update, even though we do have an exclusive... U By the way, it's not necessarily that everyone just wants free-to-play stuff. It's more so how much we've asked and begged and pleaded for certain things to be added to the game that you're now finally adding. It's not necessarily just free stuff. It's about... How you promise to release things to the game and then don't, but then just shove two pay to win updates down our throats that literally nobody asked for. That was the biggest reason why we all got so upset, my boy. That's why. Unit and clans costs gems or getting the game pass. So there's still a free to play option on that, even though it is going to be a lot of gems. The crate on Ohio mode is going to have a pretty strong unit at the top of it. And the crate is going to be called the Sigma crate. I'm okay, so there is going to be a new crate. We are going to get this something called the Sigma crate. And that is going to be the unit that I summon right away because I am so lucky. I'm going to show you guys it later. I'll probably do another video tomorrow about that. Showing a couple Haven't Sigma seen crate it. leaks. But I didn't show the best units in this update in this video. I just showed most of them, a couple of mythics. But you guys will see. I think this update is going to be pretty great. As always, like. So at the end of this video, it seems like this update is shaping up to be a pretty big update once again. We're going to get a lot more free-to-play units as well. And the clans updates finally coming out and that's the most important thing that we all care about let's be honest let me know your guys thoughts down below either way i think it's time we give away some free units here are all the beautiful people in the last video that put the hashtag on the video and look at how magnificent this is look at how many skeleton army users there are there's all four of these skeletons stick men hey this guy stole my thunder here take this all right fine i'm subscribed but i got scammed for my clover titan can you give me one i don't even have one to give Fortnite 56703. Don't think I forgot about what you did here. Q, not you too! Ah, uh, Oh, sticky, sticky boy. Here, have a guardian. We love Hopeless Pot! I really do want to make that channel. Here, uh, take this. I just realized this is five skeletons in a row. Oh my gosh. I hope Golden Titan will be a clan unit or PvP reward. I think it's going to come out in this update, literally. Uh, just have a crate. Have a crate. Golden Titan might be a godly because Slender said the new godly is going to be Speaker Man. Yeah, I agree. I, I think we're on the same page. W thought process, my boy. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I'm just kidding. We're good. And like, just like that, it got sent out. If you're someone that wants a free unit as well, you can put the hashtag down below with a chance of getting picked, or you can click that join channel feature like someone just did today. So you're going to get a free signed unit that's going to be a mythic plus. If you haven't already subscribed, I love you guys. I'm super excited for this update. Uh, I do have plans tomorrow, unfortunately, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to live stream the joining of my clan right away. But obviously, I, I want to do it sooner rather than later. So stay tuned for that. That should be a bunch of fun. Either way, that is going to be it from this skeleton. I love y'all. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.